All right, welcome back. Today we're going to learn how to make this spur gear right here. Okay, and um, this is a gear that I made based on basically just making a, taking a bunch of measurements off a little tiny gear. All right, and so something you might do in your reverse engineering project. So let's go ahead and start a new standard part. Okay, and start a 2D sketch. So keep in mind your, your dimensions will probably be different. All right, so let's go ahead and grab our circle button tool here and drag it out a circle that's about, here's what I measured when I measured my gear. It was roughly 7.726 inches. All right, let's go ahead and finish our sketch. Now remember yours is going to be different, your dimensions, because you made your own measurements in your reverse engineering project. So let's go ahead and extrude this. Okay, and we're going to go a distance of, okay, 0.157. Okay, now let's go ahead and click on this face, and we're going to start a 2D sketch. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and draw the teeth of our gear, at least one of them for now. So we're going to use our line tool. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to draw the basic rough kind of shape here. Okay, that I thought it kind of looked like. Maybe not quite that big, but that's okay. We'll dimension it here in a second. Okay. I'm going to make a construction line right down the middle to make sure it's kind of centered here along our axis. All right, and this, all right, so when I measured this part right here, I got a distance, a length of 0 0.012 with my calibers. So I'm going to divide that by two, though, because I want to go from here to here. So 0 0.012 divided by two, and then from this side to this side, same thing, 0 0.012 divided by two. All right, now let's see the bottom part. And when I measured this total length, I got a length of 0.4, okay? So, or, excuse me, 0 0.04. So I'm going to dimension it 0 0.04 divided by 2, and then point. Okay, now when you look at your tooth here, okay, or you're on your gear, it might not be fully constrained. So we also got to assign it a height here. But uh, when I gave it a height, okay, I made a measurement of about, let's see here, uh, 0 0.05. All right. And if you want to stop now, that's fine. Uh, I noticed that the teeth on my particular gear are a little more rounded. Okay, so we're going to change this to make it reflect uh, the more natural shape of the tooth of the gear. So I'm going to delete that. Delete that. All right, make sure your um, your construction line is off. And then we're going to grab our arc tool here. And uh, let's go ahead and create an arc. Okay, from green dot to green dot. Make sure you grab those green dots. And we want a radius of about... 0 0.09. Okay, and let's make our other one over here. Green dot to green dot. Make sure you get those green dots so you get no open loops here. Okay, and we want a 0 0.09. Okay, looks good to me. And the last thing we're going to do, just to kind of give it a little bit more roundish appearance here, we're going to add a fillet of about 0 0.005 here, right here. Okay, it looks good. Now we're going to finish our sketch. Okay, I want to zoom in so I can see this face. Let's extrude it. 0.157 inches. Okay, but let's go the other way, obviously. And there we go. There's one tooth. Now the nice thing is Autodesk will do the rest. So go to your circular tool. Okay, it's asking you to select the feature. That's the feature we want to... Um, uh, we want to make a pattern of and then it's asking us for an axis so we click here and we're going to identify this circle as our 
rotational axis. And it, by default, it puts in six. But I counted them. I got 39 when I counted those teeth on their gear here. Okay, so there we go. It's starting to look more like a gear now. All right, so now let's go ahead and click on there, make a start a 2D sketch here. All right, and we're going to make a circle coming out. In case you have a gear with it that needs an axle, we're going to make an axle hole here. All right, and we're going to make it. Point two six diameter. All right. Go ahead and finish our sketch. Extrude it through the other way. Point one five seven. Okay, and there's our axle hole. All right, so we're going to modify our axis hole now. Let's click on that face again. Start a two D sketch. Project geometry. So we want this circle right here. We're going to offset it. Okay, a distance of point zero five inches. We are going to finish our sketch and extrude that a distance of 0.2 inches out from the gear here. Okay, hit OK. All right, the last thing we want to make, one of the things we want to, features we want to add is this little notch. So we're going to click on that face, start a 2D sketch, and let's project some geometry so we can see that and that. Hit Escape. All right, um, and now let's come over here to our rectangle and we want a two point center rectangle and we're just gonna drag it out and those were roughly my dimensions I got. Okay, hit escape. Let's go do some trimming now. Okay, let's go ahead and finish our sketch. And now we want to extrude this part, this face inward, the other way, not 0.2, but we're going to go about halfway to about 0.1. Okay. Whoops. Let's edit that because we wanted to go the other way. Well, let's just delete it and try it. Sure. There we go. Okay. And there's our little groove or notch that we need to make so our axle can apply torque to our gear here. All right. Now finally, you may encounter a gear situation with a little Allen screw hole. And if that's the case, okay, what you need to do is come over here to plane and you want to select a plane tangent to the surface through the edges. Okay, so if you come over here, just select a plane right around there. Okay, hit escape. And when we come over to this work plane, let's make a new sketch on that work plane. And we're going to turn it around here. Okay. Okay, I'm going to move it around slightly so I can kind of see where things are. The surface of the gear here. All right, so I'm going to create a just a construction line for reference purposes only from here. to here and it's simply as a reference here okay so you should see a little a yellow dot on here that's where you want that's where the plane is touching the surface all right and um, let's project some geometry I just want to use that now I'm gonna put a point right on that line okay hit escape and I don't want to just delete that construction line now and I'm going to dimension it halfway here. Okay, which I believe would have been 0.1, right?
Okay, and now let's finish our sketch here. And come up here to hole. And we want to select our first one. We want threadeds here. And we're going to do a length of about Believe not point zero four seven. Uh, about. Let's see here. Right there. Okay, class two B. That looks good. Okay, and we want it to go all the way through. So, we want it to go not too far, but so I believe we want about point zero five. And then hit OK. Let's take that work plane visibility off. Okay. And it looks good. Okay, we got our notch and we got our drill hole. The last thing you should probably do is give it a nice okay. Steel polish. Your gear might be plastic, so you want to assign it a material. In this case, mine was steel, probably iron. Okay, and there you go. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.